Eric Moavet, Mother.com, with the Weekend World Market Analysis for the weekend of August 27th and August 28th, 2016. Let's take a look at markets here. As far as Asia is concerned, a down day for the Nikkei. And pretty much, let's call it a mixed bag for the other. Slightly higher for Hong Kong and slightly down for Australia as of Friday's close. Take a look at European markets. Generally, they were slightly positive. As you can see, let's call it about on average about 0.5% higher on Friday. Take a look at the Americas with about three hours to go before the close of Friday's session. And they are generally, let's call it unchanged to positive as far as Brazil and Canada is concerned. Other markets are pretty much, I guess Mexico is down and the other markets are pretty much unchanged. So let's call it positive day with this one being the outlier, Mexico being down about 9.91%. With three hours to go, U.S. markets right now called slightly down after having been higher at the open or early in the session. Slightly down, we'll see how we close. Let's go to the charts and the theme for this video in my estimation is as long as monthly charts are positive. So that's the key in my estimation here. As long as any markets is still positive for the month, it's going to be tough to kill the market. Markets that are turning negative could start seeing pressure to the downside. But as long as the month is good, the charts should generally remain okay. Most markets are trying their best to hold steady. Take a look here at the Australian market and we had a chance of breaking out this past week above five, six, four, four, but we did not close above that. That becomes a little bit of a failed breakout. The more we struggle to hold this level, the more we are going to roll over, especially if you consider the monthly chart. And here we have monthly chart data going back to 2001. And as you can see, as we discussed last weekend, this is one of the markets that's down for the month. And as I say, as long as the markets are negative for the month, net net the pressure to the downside, we can see resistance on this top side being confirmed right now. And also coming back to show back test of the previous break line. Talking about this level here, once we broke through here, so once this break took place, the market came off the highs of 2015. And so we extend the same line, you can see we are coming here, we are showing resistance. So month to month, Australian market is one of the markets right now that continues to look like month to month, it might be setting up to move lower as long as this resistance is confirmed on those two lines. If you take a look at the Japanese market, we can see that this past week we had a down session for the week, confirming resistance around RSI 50. This has been a problem of the last couple of months. The last time we hit this level and we did see resistance here above 50 back below it was for these highs here and also here for late 2015 during this high. So the market did come back this past week, hit that level and we seem to be stalling. In fact, there's a resistance line going back if you take a look at a five year weekly chart and it's this line right here. You can see that this was support line was support line during this years when the market was pretty much, let's call it in a nice upward trend, the market would find st stability on this red line. Since then, since this break here, since the break, the market's been coming back and showing uniform activity above the line back below it for those highs. We touched that line there with uniform activity and, and was rejected for the highs there. And now we are doing the same thing here. So net net, this weekly chart does suggest that the pressure seems to be to the downside as far as the Japanese market is concerned. If we take a look at the Indian market by way of the Nifty, we can see coming back to test this breakpoint right now seems to be a problem. As you can see that ever since the break here, of course the market came off the highs there in 2015. So we draw a line from there. So two things have happened this past couple of weeks. A, resistance on this red line, the previous break level, and also rejection at 69.1 on the weekly RSI. Net, net, that's not a good sign. What the market needs to do here is short term break out above the recent weekly closing high, and the level to watch there is for a breakout to take place, which would be bullish, and that would be for a breakout above 86, 83.15. 
So the more we fail to break out, the more we start suggesting that lower prices are imminent. And also keep in mind that right now, if you take a look at the monthly, we ended the week slightly down. So again, this down month is not a good is not a good sign of where markets want to go. Again, as long as markets are negative for the month, the pressure has flipped and is now going to be pointing down. And again, one of the reasons why I say that is because if you take a look at a long term monthly chart here for the nifty, you can see that right now where it's trading with a negative month, the RSI is pointing to resistance around this level here. So if I just draw it like that, you can see that right now this rejection is not good. So happens to be rejection at about 61.8. And if you take a look at the previous sell points that led to major bear markets, they all began with a break below this level. So the risk here is that this could actually be setting up month to month. As long as this is resistance, month to month, this could be setting up for a major pullback because this is where pullbacks have began. Even the pullback of the highs of 15 began once the RSI cracked below 61.8. On the daily, we can see that what all it needs to do is find support around the RSI 50 level, something it's been doing with success. All these lows have come with the RSI bouncing at the RSI 50 level on the daily. We did end Friday's session at the line, so recovery back above the line would be bullish. And at the same time, if we now see a change in sentiment, and we see that the instrument is trading below 50, this would suggest to expect lower prices. So staying below 50 would be bearish. Bouncing back above 50 would obviously be a bullish sign since this is where it has been bouncing over the last couple of pullbacks going back to about April. In other words, if we take a look also at the hourly, we can see that the market really hasn't broken down on the hourly. We're coming back to test an area where the market has been finding recent support, so somewhere around here. Take a look, coming off the lows of late June, this action here, and since then, the market's been bouncing on this line. So if this line is holding, we have to assume that there could be a reversal. Keep in mind that we are seeing a positive divergence setup in that the markets are making a slight lower low, but the RSI really generally is within that green line of support. So the daily is not really broken. The hourly is not really broken. Again, back to the daily. Here, short term, either we bounce on the 50 for a recovery or we break below it. And a break below this level now begins another pullback lower. Keep in mind, as we discussed, the monthlies are not acting well with the month down. And also the fact that the weeklies have not broken out. So we need a breakout on the weekly if this market is to change its most recent downside pullback direction. In fact, if you go back to the hourly chart, and this is seven months of hourly data, and here I am using RSI setting of 26. So the RSI setting is 26 on my hourly charts. And you go back to this low here, which began this most recent move higher, draw a line from this, the RSI moved above a range. So this range here, so we draw a line from there, something like that. And you can see that since then, the market's been bouncing on the green line. So that's why I'm saying that the hourly charts are not yet broken, because this is where the market's been finding short-term support. And right now what I'm getting at is we've, we are coming back to challenge the green line. So here, we can either find support for recovery or for the first time in a couple of months, we can finally break below the green line. So we shall see which way the market goes. Otherwise, in a big picture time frame, the monthly charts being negative is the key. With European markets closing positive for the Friday at the end of Friday session, so we can see that they are coming back to test the daily support line around the 50 level. As long as the daily is holding, we can see that this trend line continues to hold on the RSI, which is positive action, short term. As long as this RSI line is holding, we have to assume that at the very worst, this is sideways action. So it looks like they're finding support as of Friday. Take a look at the DAX, which is also right now coming back and showing support also with Friday's positive move. So as long as the daily charts are solid, we have to assume that this market's 
as far as European markets are concerned, continue to be healthy. Take a look also at the FTSE, which closed here, as you can see, with a nice support on this trend line here. You can either draw it this way or this way. In other words, it's bouncing around, generally around this 50 level, where it's been finding successful recovery. And again, so we are seeing markets, as far as European markets, holding steady. And for the FTSE right now, it just needs to break out if it is to join other markets like the the, Ameri the US with the Dow Nasdaq and the S&P 500 breaking out. It needs to, the FTSE does need to break out about this level here of 6916.02. A breakout here after two weeks of rest would suggest higher prices. So these markets are proving very difficult to kill. In other words, their momentum continues to be strong. Take a look at the Canadian market here also. With after two weeks of rest since recording this recent weekly closing high at 14.747.15. So this weekly closing high, after two weeks of rest, now the market has a chance of breaking out. So again, markets are very resilient, especially as long as they are holding positive for the month. And if you take a look at short-term charts, for example, for the Canadian market, take a look at the daily. And the daily here is coming back just like the S&P 500, doing its best to hold this line here. So as long as they support on the daily, this is good enough to st stop any slide. So as long as the daily is finding support around RSI 50, we have to assume the market continues to be healthy. If you take a look at the hourly, you can see that recently we've been making a slight lower low, but there's a little bit of a support and improvement here on the RSI, suggesting that even with the pullback of recent highs here, this market is not broken as of right now. So yes, we are pulling back off the highs here, but we are coming back and showing stability on the hourly, suggesting that the market continues to be okay. This pullback is of the garden variety for now. If you take a look at the Brazilian ma market and here going back 2002 on the monthly, the reason why I keep saying be careful here because if things turn negative for the month, it might confirm resistance on this level here. The last time we've been coming here and showing resistance, this market has seen a, a major pullback. Resistance here for the highs there, resistance here for the highs there, and now if it turns red for the month this might suggest resistance here which might indicate month to month the equation might be flipping and pointing down that's why i'm saying if markets want to continue trading well they have to stay positive for the month because if they confirm resistance around these levels many markets are gonna be seeing a major pullback eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings be on the lookout for part one of this weekend's market analysis video for the u.s markets Peace and blessings. Enjoy your weekend. I am out. Mwah, blah, 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 blah. The test. 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 The test.